continue the tournament, ladies and gentlemen, with the contest at Catchway. Six rounds of five minutes duration, with the best two from three fours, four submissions, one knockout decided the winner. Introducing you in the red corner from London, we have Terry Rush. And in the blue corner from Wakefield, the ex amateur title holder, Ray Steele. Your third man for this contest, Mr. Joe Hill of Brent. Hello again, grappling fans. Good afternoon and welcome to the Victoria Bar. This here in Nottingham. And the start off for this freestyle session is a catchweight contest. Terry Rudge versus Ray Steele. More about them later as we go ahead with round one. Terry Rudge in the light trunks from Dunstable, Bedfordshire at 15 stone four. Ray Steele, Tingley, Yorkshire. A tall fair boy from Tingley at 13-10. So a catchway contest. Joe Hill, the third man in the ring, the referee. Joe Hill from Bradford. by the tall, lithe, race team. So he runs face showing that he's worried about a way to get out of this one. Tried back elbows, tried turning into it, away from it. The rollover gets it. Rolls out of it. And that was a torn ankle he had on them before he was spun out from it. And that's the sort of speed he's got to contend with here this afternoon against Ray Steele. Steele trying for a bear hunt there. First of all, he came sideways and then he couldn't hold it. He's just a little bit lightweight, I would say, to try a bear hunt on a man like Terry Rush. I doubt if we'll see him try it again. When the whip came, it came well. A couple of minutes to go in the first round of six. Two falls to decide this bout. Full Nelson Steele can't see him holding it. Doesn't even try to, he knows it himself. Goes for the side head chance to throw instead. Tries the... Oh, he was far too late on that. Re-attempt at the full Nelson. No, 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 no,
Steel left foot right behind the knee there. Steele surely hasn't got the strength or weight to attempt a side surfboard from that angle. Now. Half a minute to go. And a single leg Boston attempt there by Terry Rudge. Have to make it fairly quick. He's got about 12 seconds. Now he's given it up already. Goes for a toe and ankle instead on the ropes. just could be one of those catchweight contests, a preliminary contest of a, an afternoon's tournament that works out well. Terry Rudge has the weight, obviously the superior strength, 15 stone 4 of him, but he's got a very fast boy up against him. Can, will he continue to wrestle like we've seen him try to in the first round all the way through against Steele? Second round. Round two, five rounds to go. No score in this catchweight contest here at the Victoria Baths, Nottingham. Terry Rudge versus Ray Steele. Steele, the tall blonde boy in the darker trunks, the red trunks. Referee Joe Hill, Bradford referee. And although young Ray Steele at 13 10 giving away a lot of poundage here doing so well so far with his speedy moves I'm afraid that it's going to cause Rudge to get a little stronger tougher and more inside strength moves going for it there's one side headlocks held over the face really laying him on Rush. he's still holding it Steele, having tried that knee drop a couple of times, is connected with it. work with a spin out but uh, I'll bet that uh, Ray still wishes it had because that really caught his fingers there Could have easily broken a wrist as well double handed wrist lever now with the arm straight against the joint and the posting couple of minutes to go round two Let 
Joe Hill, referee Joe Hill, reminding Raj that when he calls the break, complete break, please. And oh, yes. Steele went fast for that one. Gets the, the equivalent of the single leg Boston, the folded knee behind the neck, if he can hold it. There's the single leg Boston back again. One minute he's got, if he can get Rudge over. And he's gone for the full Boston now. And Rudge won't go over. That's where his strength is going to count here in this bout. No, no. I stack ref. No, no. No. No, ref, no. Still. Still will have to hurry. Nearly there. 30 seconds. And there's the Boston on. I think Rod just got plenty of strength to roll steel forward here. And there it is with eight seconds to go in round two. And what a forearm to follow up on the bell. Ray Steele, billed now from Wakefield, though actually born in Tingley, I understand. He's the boy that was trained for the pro ring by the European World Away champion, Alan Kulbeck. He won uh, the intermediate light heavyweight title of Great Britain before turning pro in June 1969. So he's only been a full-timer for three years. Seconds away, round three. Round three, no score. In his catchweight contest here at Nottingham Victoria Baths, Terry Rudge versus Ray Steele. Steele in the darker trunks, the dark red trunks. A taller boy with fair hair there. At 13.10, giving away quite a bit of palm, a few pounds to Rudge at 15.4. In fact, about a stone and three quarters here. Doing very well so far with his speedy moves. Backbreaker, attempt by Steele. And still Rudge won't go in for the strength moves. He still wants to wrestle fast, his favorite style, against this very speedy opposition. But he could get into trouble from it. There's the strength again. Oh yes, Rudge a little slow there and that drop kick came there right, right in the mouth. not happy about it, so up comes his right knee, also with good timing. And caught by a double arm and steel underneath now, and he could get the first after that weakener, he has. One minute 15, round three. One minute, 50 seconds, into the third round. The first one to race team. In the third round, ladies and gentlemen, with a double reverse, arm lever and shoulder press, the first ball in favor of Ray Steele. And a pretty happy boy he is, as you can see there, getting the first one over the heavier man, almost a stone and three quarters heavy. A very good effort indeed. Got him weakened from a couple of moves and then went in fast on the kill for a pinfall. 
Three rounds to go. Seconds leave the ring, round four. Round four, and Rudge is not going to allow that to last too long if I know Terry Rudge. Terry Rudge in the lighter trunks, the green ones on the right there. Now trailing by one fall to the tall steel. Whatever it is, it's certainly a good preliminary contest to a very good bill here this afternoon at the yeah. Victoria Bars Nottingham, including, of course, tag team time a little later. And a tremendous, tremendous lightweight contest between the champion and one of the leading contenders. And this is more of the tough stuff I expected from Rudge now, especially now he's trailing. Still turning nicely there. And the check when it came was a beaut. Ooh. Now how much has that worried Steele? Enough to get the body slamming across press in very fast and there it is. The equalizer in the fourth. One minute, 30 seconds into round four. Terry Rudge, the equalizing fall from a cross press following a crutch hold and slam. Neil Soden. Ladies and gentlemen, round four from a body slam and press, a pinfall and equalizer, Terry Rudge. Yes, and the steel comes over for a handshake. And two rounds to go now with one fall each and the question is whether Terry Rudge can keep on top by the strength moves or whether his opponent Ray Steele can keep going with the fast ones. Seconds away, round five. Round five, two to go, one fall each. Rudge in the lighter trunks there in, on the right of your picture. And if you're wondering why Ray Steele is fighting Terry Rudge this afternoon at all because your local TV publication mentioned Billy Howes. Well, Billy Howes is injured and unable to appear here today, so Ray Steele has taken his place. Doing a pretty good job despite his lack of weight. One fall each. Headlock and strangle by Steele. He sees Extraordinary what this uh, fellow goes for, this comparatively inexperienced professional and giving away a lot of weight, as we say, going for curious holes that really is, are only put on generally by the stronger of the two. Slam didn't really come off, it was more a throw off than that, the butt did. Knee drop that didn't really happen for him, he slid off the knee a little fast, he slid his opponent off the knee a little fast though. But Rudge Bitter, better watch it. The steel doing pretty well on a cross press there, but hadn't got the weight. Once again, and he walks into a drop kick off those ropes. Another one, but Steele lands badly from that, missing. Rudge saw it coming, stepped back, and he's going to be in trouble, Steele, from that bad fall. And there's the slam and the cross press, just how Rudge did it last time with the equalizer. He's got the winner. So in two minutes, ten seconds, into the fifth round. Rudge the winner by two falls to one, but an excellent effort by a much lighter opponent. Neil Soden, our MC, to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, round five from a body slam and press, 
the winning poll in favour of Terry Rook. Having acclaimed the winner, ladies and gentlemen, a handful of very good loser, please, Ray Steele. <laughs>